energy can take various forms. For example, heat, light, motion, that's movement, electrical energy, or chemical energy. These activities may seem different one from another, but they all have one thing in common. Energy. Scientists say that if a thing has energy, it has the ability to do work. Look. A moving hammer has a lot of energy and can hammer a nail for you. Hot water has a lot of energy and can boil an egg for you. Electricity is energy and can run a fan for you. Ah, this would help me to cool off after all this movement. Look at this candle. It burns and gives off energy in the form of heat and light. Let's look at what happens when I cover the flame with this upside down glass jar. Whoa, the flame is gone. Why when there's so much candle wax left? The candle wax is the fuel. Well, we stopped the air from getting to the flame. That's why in a burning candle, the oxygen in the air rapidly combines with the fuel, and that is the candle wax to produce the energy of heat and light. We call this process rapid oxidation or combustion. This chemical reaction results in light and heat. If there is no fuel, there is no flame. If there is no oxygen, there is no flame. Both are necessary to make a fire.